Buff Nation, what up? PWB, my bandwagon buffs. What it is, what it does, and what it's gonna be. It's your man's Harry Billion. If you're new around here, please smash that subscribe button. Please hit the likes. Don't forget to comment, guys. We have Buff Nation merch, Coach Prime merch. The link is above, guys. Enough business. Let's get straight to it. Let's work. We got a couple of alley oops that I wanted to bring you on this Saturday while you're doing the dishes, while you're cleaning and preparing for your Saturday. We just got an alley oop from Urban Meyer. A lot of you guys, you already know if you are a football fan, but of course, a lot of us BWBs. Let me give you a little bit of a resume of who Urban Meyer is for a lot of you who don't really know him so that when I give you this information so you guys can understand and put this in a better perspective. Urban Frank Meyer III was born July 10th, 1964. Is a college football TV commentator and a former American football coach. He spent most of his coaching career at the collegiate level, having served as the head coach of the Bowling Green Falcons from 2001 to 2002, the Utah Utes from 2003 to 2004, the Florida Gators 2005 to 2010 and the Ohio State Buckeyes from 2012 to 2018. He retired from coaching in 2019 at the end of the Rose Bowl and stayed at Ohio State as an assistant athletic director and was also an analyst for Fox Sports appearing weekly on their big known kickoff pregame show. So that's a little bit on Urban Meyer, Colorado Buffalo's Wire.usatoday.com. Let's go to the wire and find out what Ali U Urban Meyer is giving us. Urban Meyer optimistic Deion Sanders will turn things around quickly at Colorado. All right, Matt. Matt, what do you got for us? The Colorado Buffaloes have been the talk of college football since hiring Deion Sanders as head coach. The Buffaloes have already brought in top recruits, transfer players, and some big name assistant coaches as well. The program went from a place nobody wanted to join to a place everybody wants in on. National championship winning former college football head coach Urban Meyer gave a bold prediction on Deion Sanders and the new look buffs. Here's what Meyer had to say. I think he's going to flip it. Nothing crazy in the first year, but in the first couple years. I say certainly a bowl game and an eight or nine win season. That's what a lot of us have been saying around here. We know we're going to have a winning season. We're going to win. We're not certain if it's going to be a chip year, but we're definitely going to have a winning season. If the Buffs win eight or nine games in a couple of seasons, that would be a huge success and a massive turnaround. The first season won't be easy for Coach Prime, especially playing in the gruesome Pac-12 and navigating a tough non-conference schedule. Myers think a big jump will happen quickly. If so, Athletic Director Rick George and Coach Prime will continue earning praise. We have a former national championship winning coach also giving his prediction now we're getting more prominent people coming out giving their predictions they're starting to understand the recruits are coming in a lot of pieces are starting to fall into place we have five former head coaches on the staff that's going to be guiding and helping coach prime with this process as the pieces start to come together the closer we get to spring you will start seeing a lot more prominent people come out and add their voice to the conversation start making more of their predictions based on the pieces and that makes a lot more sense and that's what i've been preaching the whole time if we win eight or nine games Games and having to go to a bowl game and win that game, that's going to push the conversation to that national chip. And then from there, we're going to be riding high. It's a beautiful Saturday. We got a couple of things coming down the wire, guys. Let me give you the next alley-oop. Our first offensive lineman has signed for the 2024 class. Let's go to the wire for this one. Colorado hosted 67 recruits during last weekend's Elite Junior Day. And amongst those visitors was a 2024 interior offensive lineman, Taylor Chandler, who had received an offer from the Buffs and the O-line coach, Bill O'Brien. Boyle on January 11th. Chandler must have enjoyed his visit as on Friday, the three-star prospect from Nevada, Missouri announced his CU commitment. Per 247 Sports, he stands just over six foot three inches and is listed at 292 pounds. The number 70 ranked inside offensive lineman in his class also owns offers from Eastern Michigan, UNLV, Missouri State, and Northern Iowa. Head coach Deion Sanders' 2024 class is now ranked number 16 overall with four commitments. I had to come over here, guys even with my voice cracking to give you this information. So here are the other commitments class of 2024 that's got us ranked at number 16 overall. I told you about Chandler, sure I'm messing up that name, wide receiver Dejan Kalaman, and a pair of D-line in Omar White and Eric Bentley. We're starting to stack up on that 2024 class. You guys know Coach already said we're not done. We still got a lot of work to do. Now let's turn our attention to the alley-oop that we just got from Rivals.com. I told you guys in another video that Rivals.com along with ESPN, there's another one that I can't remember right Right now are the three most respected recruiting platforms that anybody uses. So according to Rivals.com, as far
far as the transfer class, guys, those people who jumped in the transfer portal looking for opportunities for this class of 2023, we are in the top rank. So there are several teams that they listed. Let me give you those teams real quick so you can see that we're not playing around. I'm just going to call him Matt W. I don't want to mess up his name. All right, so Deion Sanders in the Buffs land rivals top transfer class. The transfer portal has been as busy as ever with a ton of players moving to new programs. The Colorado Buffaloes, who went 1-11 last season, became one of the biggest players in the portal after Deion Sanders was hired as the head coach. The list of players who came to Boulder is a long one and also a talented one. Adam Gordon and Adam Freeman of Rivals compiled a list of the country's top 2023 transfer classes and Coach Prime and the Buffs landed at number one. Let's see some of the other teams that actually ranked in the top 10. At number 10, we have the UCLA Bruins. The UCLA Bruins lost Dorian Thompson Robinson, Zach Bonnet, and Jake Bobo to the NFL. So they got work to do. They landed at number 10 on this list. And then we have the Oklahoma Sooners. Oklahoma went 6-7 and seven in its first year without Lincoln Riley. Brett Vonables and his staff did well in the transfer portal, and the Sooners should be a factor in the new look Big 12 next year. You gotta forgive my voice, guys. And then at number eight, guys, we have Auburn Tigers. Brian Harrison is gone, and Hugh Freeze is now leading Auburn. On top of that, the Tigers brought in a lot of talent. They are hoping that they can turn this around quickly after a rough five and seven campaign. At number seven, we have Florida State Seminoles. Florida State had a strong 10 and three season and has now added six four-star players and four three-star players. So the Seminoles could make a run at an ACC title in 2023. The USC Trojans. I mean, we all knew USC would be here. The Trojans added a lot of big names once again, but none bigger than Arizona wide receiver Dorian Singer, who will replace Jordan Addison. Oklahoma State linebacker Mason Cobb is another big get. The LSU Tigers. Brian Kelly did well in his first season at LSU, and the Tigers are fifth on this list. The question is, can it be Alabama again? At number four, we have SMU Mustangs. SMU landed at number four by landing quality. The Mustangs brought in three four-star recruits and 12-star players in a strong overall group. At number three, we have Ole Miss Rebels. Ole Miss and Lane Giffen brought in six four-star players and seven three-star players. Even though former USC quarterback Jackson Dart is still there, the Rebels added Spencer Sanders and Walker Howard from the portal. Landing at number two is Arizona State Sun Devils. You know the story that I told you guys about the Sun Devils, how the track coach was running along the seabed, and then while he was running, there was a dust storm that formed, and he says that it formed into the shape of a Sun Devil, and then from there, his mind just snapped, and he was like, that's what we should call our team. We should call ourselves the Sun Devil. That's how they got their names, the Sun Devil. If you guys remember, rumor had it that we were supposed to play them in that week zero game, but it was nixed by the Pac-12 and the NCAA, and then in their coach, Kenny Dillingham, just just like Coach Prime, he's a new coach at the Arizona State Sun Devils, so there was going to be that whole headline about two new coaches meeting each other. Here's what it said about him. Does Kenny Dillingham count? No. <laughs> Flat out, no. But the Sun Devils' new head coach has been busy recruiting. The Sun Devils added just two four-star players, but they brought in a whopping 16 three-star players. Wow, that's a lot. Notre Dame quarterback Drew Payne made his way over, so that's a big get for them. Rivals.com has us at number one overall in the transfer portal. There is a reason why, and here's the reason why. Rick George has to be smiling right now. Deion Sanders brought in his son and former Jackson State quarterback Shador Sanders. Travis Hunter also came over, and he is the only only five-star transfer portal on the entire list. Overall, the Buffs landed one five-star, three four-stars, and 16 three-star players. If you think Kenny Dillingham did good with the 16 three-stars, we got 16 three-stars. We got one five-star, the only five-star that was in that portal. We got the best quarterback in the transfer portal. We got the best cornerback in the transfer portal. Their butts should be feeling kind of hot right now because they've been working their butts off for show. Sure. Recruiting department did an awesome job. Hats all to the recruiting. I got a couple of videos in the edit room that I'm going to be bringing to you. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Harry B with TLP Sports Club. Blah.